I mean, obviously you're, you're with the enemy out in Denver, mm -hmm. um, um, you know, but I mean, how, how the first couple of years in the league, I mean, um, you know, how, how do you feel like it's gone? Uh, you know, has it been, are, are there things that have been harder than expected? Things that you feel like you've been able to, to pick up on quicker than you expected? Um, I mean, within my first year, I feel like as a rookie, unless you get put into the perfect system, it's going to be a learning experience regardless. And, um, you know, for me, I, I tell everybody, my rookie year wasn't what I wanted it to be. I wasn't where I needed to be physically, and my knowledge of the game wasn't where it needed to be. But going into my second year, this uh, year that just passed, you know, I, I definitely put all the work that I needed to in. And, you know, I, I grinded and, and took my offseason how I wanted it to. And, you know, I think everything showed on the field. Last year, I felt like people were still like, oh, well, he had this great college career, and his, his rookie year was shaky. You know, I, I wanted to go ahead and shut everybody up with that and let people know that I'm still here yeah. and I'm not going nowhere, you know. So um, this second year, for me, I think it went excellent. You know, I did exactly what I set out to do. And going into this third year, I plan on continuing that and trying to be the most dominant player in this league. So I was going to say, what are your goals for year three then? Uh, year three, just like college. I mean, I don't have – I don't expect anything less than 15 sacks. And that's not a, a lofty goal for me. I average the second game in college, and I know I can average the second game in the league. So especially with Von Miller next to me, that means you can't double me the whole game. So I'm going to get my one-on-one. -on -one. So for me, um, I don't see nothing less than Pro Bowl, and I don't see myself not being an all-pro player. Period. Do you – what's the rivalry like with the Chiefs? Because you guys have been kind of going back and forth the last couple of years for uh, the AFC West. Is it weird to be kind of going it's against not, the team you cheer for your whole life? It's really not, man. You know, it's actually more fun than anything because, you know, I love the Chiefs. I mean, just, you know, growing up here, this is my city, my team. I grew up watching, and it's funny because I'm friends with a good handful of their players. You know, uh, Kendrick West, Mitch Morris, Jeremy Macklin, uh, Nunez, Roches. I mean, I can I can keep listening to the guys that I'm that are my, my buddies over there, but it's just the competition, man. Uh, Every time I come home, it just it just feels different. When I play in Arrowhead Stadium, it just feels different. You know, I feel like everybody here, even though they're all Chiefs fans, they're watching me. They want to see what I'm going to do. And I always wanted to to show that Kansas City breeds great athletes. You know, it's not just Texas. It's not just Florida. It's not just Cali. Like in the Midwest, we do breed greatness. So every time that I play the Chiefs, I look at it as an opportunity to show everyone here, this is what you help create. You know, and even though you got to watch me punish Alex Smith and, and all the players that carry the ball, but my city helped create this. This is the player that you helped create. So I want to be great and, and bring the pride of where I'm from with me. So whenever I play Kansas City, I just get chills, man. It excites me because I know if I make a bad play, some of my homeboys are going to text me about it or my family going to say something. If I make a good play, I know they're going to love it but hate it at the same time. So, you know, I got to be on. I got to play at a high level every time I play the Chiefs. That's how I feel.